So today we are planting some of our seed grown Fatsia japonica or commonly known as Japanese Aurelia. So this is a very immature plant. I grew it from seed several months ago. Collected uh, seed from our own Fatsia trees in our garden here. And uh, I like to plant them small because they grow so fast. And uh, this is sort of dappled light. There's Trachycarpus growing in here. Some big ones too. And uh, bamboo. And there's some uh, Ligistrum, which is wax leaf privet and lots of other cool plants. So there was a heather in here that uh, Wendy had planted and it perished. So uh, be probably because it's too dry, really fast draining soil. And uh, the nice thing about Fatsia japonica, they can handle dry shade. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take it out of this pot. It's in a 2.5 inch liter, or 2.5 inch pot, not liter. You see that? There we go. And we're gonna pop it in that hole right there, like so. And then we're gonna backfill it with some good soil. And they can take acidic soil. A lot of acidic soil here on Salt Spring Island. So that will be a tree in no time flat. They grow very fast here. And the nice thing about Fatsia japonica, they are evergreen. And they have really nice tropical looking leaves. They look great year-round and they bloom in the uh, late fall here. Usually November they bloom really white uh, exotic looking flowers. So there we go. Fatsia japonica is planted. I'm just going to water it down and uh, those leaves will split in time and uh, look even more tropical. So there it is a seedling Fatsia japonica planted in our garden here on Salt Spring Island. I'll give you that an I'll give you an update on that next spring and show you how she's doing. They need no protection in this climate and they do grow big 15 to 20 foot tall. All right. Thanks for watching.